let me show you how to stabilize and stock a cake today we're stocking a two-tiered cakes a two-tiered cake regardless whether you're trying to stock three tiered four tiered five tiered is the same method you're going to use and this is going to be a buttercream cake okay so my customer wanted it to be vanilla and coconut and red velvet and so that was what i was doing here so i'm just talking the cake together so i want to assume if you're watching this video you kind of already know how to stack a cake yeah so i just stacked it like you would normally stack a cake and then covered it in buttercream yeah and then when we're done we're going to leave that in the fridge usually i like to leave it for like maybe till the next day but sometimes when i don't have a lot of time i'll leave it till you know maybe two three hours okay so when the cake was like when i was done stocking by the next day it was already firm and everything and i wanted to make sure it was stable so i have this levla you can buy this on amazon or in those stores where they sell stuff for bricklayers and stuff you can buy that there so at this point i'm trying to cover my cake in chocolate ganache so the recipe for this chocolate ganache i'm using is ratio three to one which means three parts chocolate and one part cream if you want to see like a video in that i have that on this channel so like maybe two or three years ago it's like a really old video where you can search it's on here anyways the reason why i'm putting chocolate ganache even though she wants a buttercream cake is that this keeps your cake extra extra stable especially if you do not do delivery if you do pick up where the customer comes to pick up the cake and so that you won't be worried you won't be so scared that maybe they might fall apart before they get home and everything you want to make sure it's extra extra stable so what i like to do is cover it in buttercream like i will just in the more crumb coat and then i'm going to put a layer of white chocolate ganache and it's a win-win situation because white chocolate ganache is really delicious so and it adds like some extra flavor to your cake so if maybe the customer wanted maybe chocolate and vanilla or something that has chocolate in it i would use a uh, milk chocolate ganache but in this case i'm using white chocolate okay so this is for the cake going on top and i already covered in the buttercream the day before so i'm just trying to make sure it's leveled like i did the first one and then i'm going to cover in chocolate ganache again and then put it in the fridge for this one i felt like it was a little bit bent so this is the time when you get to be able to adjust it so that like your cake won't be bent or slanty or like tilted in any direction so that's just what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to you know adjust it because once you apply the ganache it's going to stay set and it's not going to move so you want to make sure you adjust it before ganaching so at this point i'm just going to ganache my cake so it can be nice and firm and make sure not to do this when you just apply the church the buttercream make sure to leave the buttercream overnight or at least for a couple of hours okay so once we are done i'm just going to put that in the fridge and then i'm going to stack my cake so what i'm doing right here is i'm cutting off the extra chocolate ganache on top and notice i can't use a spatula i have to use a knife because it is already firm so that's all i'm doing so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to darrel our cake so the bottom layer is a is an eight inch with three big layers if your customer likes a lot of cream and stuff you can make it six you can cut each layer in two but this cake was for a nigerian and nigerians do not really like that much cream so i usually take those things into account when i'm making cakes for my customers okay so now it's time to dowel so i'm using these dowels and they are 12 inches long so what you want to do is take one dowel and stick it in so you can see the height of the cake so you're going to mark the height of the cake on the dowel and cut eight pieces of dowel in that height if that makes sense so that's all i'm going to do here i'm trying to make sure i cut eight pieces of dowel in the height sorry i'm dancing because i was listening to burner boy <laughs> anyways so after cutting all of your dowels then you're going to make a circle in the middle of your cake like in the space where you're going to put your your top tier on top you want the dowels to be in a circular form so there will be a space in the middle so that's what i'm doing so i'm just putting the dowels in a circular form around all eight of them so once you're done doing that the next thing you want to do is take another long dowel a longer one that you haven't cut and you want to cut it to a certain height that it kind of protrudes out of the bottom cake and protrudes into the inner cake the top cake so usually you want that to be quite long so that's what i'm trying to do here you want it to be a lot longer than the um the dowels for stability yeah 
so this dowel is majorly to hold the one on top in like in the space yeah so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to take some of my remnant chocolate ganache stir it up and make sure like it's not grainy or separating and then pour that in that middle so that way before it like gets hard as soon as possible you're going to put your top layer on top of that chocolate ganache so that it can set with the chocolate gan with the cake on top of it if that makes sense kind of like a glue yeah so that's what we're going to do so for this cake there is a bottom cake board under it but i made a hole in the middle so it's through that hole this tiny dowel is going to pass through so that way it makes your cake extra extra stable yay yeah so now we have a cake that's extra extra stable if you look at it quite well you're going to notice that it's still kind of a little lopsided but we're going to correct that with buttercream so this client wanted this cake to be royal blue and she wanted it to have like some patterns and she wanted me to freestyle on it i really enjoyed making this cake so much yeah anyway so i covered the cake in blue buttercream and if you're doing a double tiered cake that you're covering in buttercream after stacking it what you want to do is cover the top first before covering the bottom that way you can make the top stand really upright and fix all of the whatever problems you see on it before you do the bottom it makes it a lot easier to mind me i was really happy here and just dancing <laughs> anyways so that's all we are going to do here we're just going to try as much as possible to cover our cake in buttercream and then make sure like everything is smooth and perfect okay so now we're just trying to cover the bottom just like we covered the top and then that way everything can be perfect and when i was done i took my time to decorate my cake i did some brush embroidery on the cake and also used some um some molds to make certain patterns and then added the customer's name she was going to be 50 she really loved this cake i got a really great review like she was so happy but i was even happier because i felt like it came out perfect and it was really stable I'm sure you can tell just by looking at it. So thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you have any question, if I say leave it in the comment section, I usually do not come back to answer those because I have so much. But you can check me out on TikTok. I usually answer on TikTok. Thank you so much. See you next time.